respected brothers, sisters, and beloved children. How much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love his slaves, we cannot even imagine. We cannot even imagine how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love his slaves. That no matter someone is Muslims or non-Muslims, believers or non-believers, sinner or evil doer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves all and everyone. Yes, all and everyone, subhanahu. Try to understand the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the story of Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam and the people of Bani Israel. That when some people of Bani Israel planned against the Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam to humiliate him and criticize him and according to their plan they came to a woman and they offer a good amount of gold and silver and convince her that she just have to do a favor that she need to blame Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam with some evil that he has committed a sin with her, a zina, a adultery. When she saw a good amount of gold and silver, she accepted a deed and she said, well, I can do that. And then according to their plan, they came to Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam and ask him that you're calling us toward one Allah and he is creator, he's our sustainer, provider and protector and you're claiming yourself Allah's messenger and you're introducing a new religion to us. We are planning to gather our families, friends, circle and community into the large number and we want you to come in front of them and present your mission, introduce them what you are calling to word. When Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam got to her that, it was quite surprising. Why? Till yesterday these people were the one who was hearing Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam. Who was calling Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam with a bad name and giving him a bad title. They was planning and plotting against the Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam openly. They wasn't listening anything and they wasn't allowing anyone to listen anything from Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. And today they came to Prophet Musa and requesting him to come in front of the huge gathering, in front of the people, a community, and present his mission. That was quite surprising. Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam said, great, sound great, no problem. These people came back to their families, tribes and community and they said, well, you know what? We have planned something to humiliate Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam. We ha all have to do some favor that on a certain date and day, we all need to gather. We all need to gather and show a huge number. And when Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam will be coming to present his mission, we have earned something to humiliate them. Finally, when the day and date arrived, Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam came. When he saw the huge gathering, he was very happy. But mashallah, they have a hope today. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely bless them all. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala definitely will grant them hidayah, a tawfiq of accepting their religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala definitely will protect them from the hellfire and will make them among those who will be entering tomorrow in a paradise. And then when he begin introducing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he's only and only and only our creator. He's the, our sister. He gave us a life and he will give us a death. And then he introduced himself that he is the messenger of Allah subhanahu. And then he started calling a nation toward the religion he was sent with. And then he started speaking about the benefit of the deed and about the harms of the evil, masi and munka. And then when he was speaking about the adultery, the zina is the great sin. 
in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there will be a great punishment here and hereafter from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When he was discussing the chapter of adultery, that how great sin and evil this is in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some people among the group, according to their plan, they stood up and they asked, O oh, Prophet Musa, what about yourself? If you commit the same sin, if this will allow for you? Prophet Musa said, well, sin is sin. Sin is sin. If that is sin for you, that is sin for me. If you can't do that, I can do that. If there is punishment for you, there is the same punishment for me also. And then they said, Oh Musa, we have a lady. She is claiming that you have committed a sin, zina, adultery with her. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what the Prophet Musa والسلام, may have felt at that moment? In front of the huge gathering, Great Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The book of Tawrat was given to Prophet Musa. He's humiliated. He's criticized. And he's blamed with uh, such an evil. Prophet Musa said, well, there isn't anything. Then the people said, yes, there is a lady. She was called up front. She came in front of the Prophet Musa alayhi salam. And she said, yes, O oh Musa, you have committed a sin with me, zina and adultery. Prophet Musa said, did I? She said, yes. Tears start falling from the eyes of Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. Allah sent the wahi to Prophet Musa and he asked the lady, O oh lady, say with the name of Allah, say with the name of Allah, that I have committed a sin with you. When Prophet Musa gave the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put the fear in her heart. She became nervous. She starts shaking and starts shivering. And she starts crying. And she said, O oh, Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for Allah's sake, please forgive me. For Allah's sake, please forgive me. You're a true man. You're the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But I was deceived by these people. They have offered me a lot of gold and silver and they ask me this favor that if I blame you in public, I will be getting this good amount of gold and silver. I was deceived by them and due to that, I have committed the evil that I'm blaming you in front of the public. While you're pure, you're the messenger of Allah, you didn't have committed anything, any evil, and no one among the nation have ever saw any evil from you. How that may be possible that you will be committing a sin, zina, adultery with someone? Of course not. And then Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam, Thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala care of the dignity of Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wa salam and save his dignity from of his nation. And the people who planned and who made this plan against the Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wa salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala humiliated them all in public. Prophet Musa went in sujood and he started praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala start thanking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how today you have saved my dignity how you have saved me from great humiliation and then he started crying crying and crying and crying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comforted Prophet Musa and asked him to raise his head but Prophet Musa was praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and keep crying then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the wahi to Prophet Musa, O oh Musa, if you want, I will shower a stone upon them. If you want, earth will take them in. If you want, wind will blow them. If you want, water will wave them completely. Whatever you want, you can do it. It has been given and you're in control. Let's take your head off. 
Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam raised his hand. An order of the earth to take them in. As soon he recommended the earth to take them in, automatically their all leg was captured and hold by the earth and taken in up to knee. Their all leg was locked and kept in up to their knee. They start crying. They became nervous. They scared. They wasn't understanding what to do now. They all start asking Prophet Musa for forgiveness. Oh Prophet Musa, please forgive us. Please forgive us. But then Prophet Musa ordered the earth second time to take them in more. What happened as soon the earth got second command, earth took them up to their spine. Then they start calling Prophet Musa more than the first time. All around, there was only one name was getting called. Ya Musa, Ya Musa, Ya Musa, forgive us. Yes, we agree, we have plan against a few. We was planning to humiliate you, but we are accepting our mistake. We are regretting now. Oh Musa, forgive us. And then Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam. Order again the earth to take them in deeper. As soon the earth got the command of Prophet Musa, uh, took them up to their neck. Can you imagine what may be the moment for the people who are getting deeper and deeper inside the earth? They start crying, they start begging to Prophet Musa alayhi salatu was salam. They were saying, Ya Musa, no doubt we made the mistake. We have plan against a few. But we are accepting our mistake. We won't do that again. We won't do that again. Give us one chance. Forgive us. We got the lesson today. We got the lesson today. Do a mercy upon ourselves, Ya Musa. We won't do that. They was begging again and again. They was crying in front of the Musa. They was seeking Prophet Musa forgiveness. So Prophet Musa can forgive them. But do you know what happened? Prophet Musa wanted to give them a lesson. So make sure the remaining among the people of Bani Israel, they don't plan against it, this problem. Make sure other take a lesson from this. And they accept the religion. They accept the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they can save their soul from the hellfire and they can enter in a paradise in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And finally, Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wa salam ordered the earth to take them in completely. And finally, they all was taken in completely forever and ever and ever in the story and forever and they all was gone as soon they all was taken in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send the wahi to Prophet Musa that O oh Musa no doubt my slave had planned against of you they planned to criticize you they planned to humiliate you and according to their plan the woman blamed you but as an O oh Prophet Musa I have saved your dignity and gave you honor in front of the nation and humiliated them in front of the people. O oh Musa, no doubt, I have asked you if you want, I will shower a stone from the sky. If you want, earth will take them. If you want, wind will blow them. If you want, water will wave them completely. O oh Musa, no doubt my slave have made the mistake. But they realized their mistake. They were asking you for, for forgiveness. Again and again, they were calling your name. They were seeking, they were begging you. Oh Musa, forgive us. Oh Musa, forgive us. Oh Musa, forgive us, give us a chance. But oh Musa, you didn't forgive them. You didn't forgive them. You didn't forgive them. Yes, they made the mistake, but there was my way. Instead of your name, Instead of calling Ya Musa, if by mistake even they have called upon me, Ya Allah, I have so much love for my slave. I have so much care for my slave. 
I have so much love for my slave. O oh, Musa, I may have cancelled the deal what I have given to you and I have saved. I have protected. I may have given them a life and chance. This is the much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love his slave, my respected brothers and sisters. But what about ourselves? How much we have love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How much we have love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And how much we care for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our daily life. That's why I said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love his slaves so much, so much, and so much that we cannot even imagine. 